Do you have an idea that can change people's lives for the better? The science and technology landscape today is ruled by a culture of innovation, experimentation and discovery. Bringing these together for an unbelievable winning combination is the United States India Science and Technology Endowment Fund. Established in 2009 by the governments of the United States of America and India through the Department of Science and Technology for the promotion of joint activities that would lead to innovation and technopreneurship through the application of science and technology. Its evolution through the years has led to creation of a unique platform for a meeting ground of outstanding scientific minds from India as well as the United States. At around the period 2009 and 10, India announced the decade of innovation. Uh, we did realize that the science and technology collaboration between India and United States was attracting the best people to science and therefore there was a need to take science for the benefit of people. So that was the idea behind creating this fund which was meant to support purely the initiatives and activities which are related to innovation and entrepreneurship. Uh, that is why we brought in the aspect of uh, innovation so that science can move out from the four corners of the laboratory to touch the lives of the people and contribute to the economic growth by the development of new products and technologies that can go to the market space. With technology and innovation based entrepreneurship being the current buzzword globally, what essentially is unique about the United States India Science and Technology Endowment Fund? There are several features which are unique about this fund. First of all, we support innovations which are SNT driven. We understand that these science and technology driven projects are inherently risky. But we think it's important that the young entrepreneurs have the opportunity to bring their ingenious products to the market. And therefore, we are fulfilling an important need in providing an opportunity where venture capitalists may not be willing to go because of too much risk. Second thing is this a pure grant in aid mechanism, so there is no payback liability, which gives a lot of comfort factor to the awardees. The third thing is that uh, we support ideas which are matured enough and reach the market within a period of two to three years. And the most significant part is that it, these, these projects essentially call for a specific distinct collaboration between the US partner and the Indian partner. So both India and United States are hands-on and minds-on nation. And when they come together, they can really design products which are of highest technological standards. And at the same time, these products are very robust and compatible with low-cost settings in India and elsewhere in the world because they are at a very affordable price tag. The leadership of both of our countries is aware that our partnership and cooperation presents tremendous opportunities to benefit the world. And this is certainly a classic example of that. And this collaboration relationship is overseen and administered through a binational organization called the Indo-US Science and Technology Forum, popularly known as IUSSTF over the last 17 years. Till so far, Indo-US Science and Technology Forum was dealing with, was more focused on uh, activities related to basic sciences and uh, as an extension to its current portfolio, uh, Indo-US Science and Technology Forum now administers the endowment program which is more related to innovation and entrepreneurship space. And over a short span of four years, a total of 22 projects have already been supported under the broad themes of healthy individual and empowering citizens. Here's a curtain raiser on the United States India Science and Technology Endowment Fund supported projects. A tiny attachment transforming any smartphone into a blood analyzer and transmitting results to the physician. Farewell messy diapers and absorbent pads. Here's a self-expanding stool management device for bedridden patients. A unique organic biostimulant sap which help enhance crop productivity. Here's the future of all stoves. The clean cook stove which is a power source also. This is how you could soon get your eyes tested for a prescription eyeglass. This innovation enables plants grow well under conditions of stress. 
and this is the world's first device that makes detection of hidden lung diseases effortless as well as accurate. One of a kind, first in the world, keep moving a lever to go over obstacles and move smooth on uneven surfaces. No worries even if a couple of hundred times bending and straightening up is a daily job requirement. Ever heard of chilling milk and vegetables within seconds? Farmers now have cold storage facilities at their doorsteps almost. None of the available prosthetic knees allow a natural gait. Even riding and squatting is possible with this remotion knee. Live with grace. Invite guests. Feel safe and good. There is a modular roof to depend on. Strong and waterproof. Colourful too. A paradigm shift in payment infrastructure offering community banking for the underprivileged. It's a portable ventilator for continuous and condition-based respiratory support. A complete novelty. Compared to diesel-driven tractors, this solar tractor is twice as efficient. No electricity, no trained medical professional and a newborn gasping for breath. No worries, here's the world's first foot-operated resuscitation system for newborns. Use a car to get arsenic safe water through a low-cost arsenic remediation technology. And this is a patient monitoring solution for pregnancies spanning from first kick to the last push. Feeling uneasy? Press a button to instantly send an ECG to a doctor. Not only arsenic, this innovation removes fluoride also from contaminated water. Diagnosing cervical cancer at the point of care in two hours instead of two weeks would soon be possible through this portable automatic device and the smart microscope. Rotate a handle, crank it for about 12 seconds to see the dying heart of a cardiac arrest patient come back to life. This is the world's first hand crank, rugged and affordable defibrillator for low resource settings. So these are some of the examples of the technological innovations that are carried out in collaboration between India and the United States. So, uh, you know, it is clearly evident that the projects that we have supported so far have led into niche technological innovations, which are not only socially relevant and have gone to Indian markets, but at the same time have found ways even to the US market. So I hope that the producers will sell these products all over the world. It might be that they will manufacture in India and fulfill the vision of Make in India. Or it could be that they will manufacture in the United States. But the main thing is it has to meet the criteria of the program. It has to be socially relevant, it has to be innovative, it has to be commercially possible, and it has to be a great partnership between the United States and India to benefit the world. Though it started 10 years back, uh, one would realize that uh, all the projects that we are supporting are relevant to the current national missions like uh, uh, the, the smart cities, digital India, clean India, startup India, and therefore the whole program is so relevant to the current national initiatives. Young science and technology innovators have brought a sense of hope and excitement with an array of products to address the particular needs of the under-resourced settings. And as India and the United States begin to innovate together, there are definite indications of a fundamental shift, changing the dynamics of the future techno-ecosystem. Going forward, we have plans to scale up our current level of activities, that is for one. Secondly, we want to broaden our horizon in terms of supporting activities falling in almost all the domains which touch upon the lives of people. And thirdly and most importantly, we want to expand our outreach and establish connectivity to the overall ecosystem of innovation and enterprise. The United States India Science and Technology Endowment Fund has lived up to its mandate to support and foster joint applied R&D to generate public good through the commercialization of technology developed through sustained partnerships between the US and Indian researchers and entrepreneurs. With technology entrepreneurship capturing the imagination of young innovators like never before, their pursuit of exploring what's better, what's affordable and what's commercializable 
by harnessing the power of scientific innovation is all set to seek newer grounds for achieving global good.